welcome everyone. My name is The Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing the sixth and what I believe is the final mission of the Grand Dukes titled The Maid Falls. There is an achievement for this one where we destroy uh, the French army before killing Joan of Arc. Um, it's, it's called Shut Up Lahir. So maybe Lahir will make an appearance this mission. In any case, let's go ahead and get started. Since the rise of the Maid of Orléans, the war had not been going well for England and Burgundy. In a matter of days, Joan had crushed the combined English and Burgundian forces at Orléans. And now, for a year, she had campaigned with the Armagnac army, bringing it victory after victory. Only recently had she suffered a setback, as her forces failed to take Paris from the English. She was not a warrior. At just 19 years of age, she carried nothing but a banner into battle. Yet her tactics and her fiery speeches, that seemed to be the very word of God, had made her the Armagnac's greatest weapon. Philippe resolved to put an end to her for good. His forces were laying siege to Compiègne. When word reached him that Joan and her loyal followers had snuck into the city to aid the defenders, this would be the day that the Maid of Orléans fell. Oh no. This time we're the baddies. Or are we the baddies? Funny how history works, isn't it? Our main objectives are to unhorse... Uh kill Joan of Arc to capture her and to set the castle in Choisy on fire, reduce the castle's HP to 1,000 or less to take over the town. Okay. Our hints tell us that the Burgundian army can support a population of 200. It is not necessary to completely destroy the French, but we're going to because of achievements. Haha. <laughs> Joan of Arc is the only one who stands in your way and defeating her is Philippe the Good's goal. Before the Burgundians can begin to lay siege to Compiègne, they must acquire a base from which to operate. Focus on this objective before invading other domains that are controlled by the French. The small town of Margny is already in Burgundian hands, but will need your support to withstand French attempts to recapture it. Your scouts report that Philippe the Good in purple has led his army south to conquer Compiègne and defeat the French army led by Joan of Arc. Before the actual battle can begin, Philippe must first conquer Choisy in order to establish a base. Choisy in green is defended by a relatively small garrison. If the Burgundians attack decisively enough, they should have no difficulty in forcing the town to surrender. Near Compiègne lies the town of Margny in orange, which has already been conquered by Burgundian soldiers. Philippe the Good must support the Burgundian forces that are holding Margny against French attempts to recapture the town. Burgundian scouts have learned that the residents of Soissons in Grey, a city to the east, are weary of war. It may be possible to come to an agreement with the citizens without having to spill blood. Joan of Arc hides in Compiègne with her loyal followers in blue. The well-fortified city in Sion is defended by a powerful army consisting of pikemen, heavy crossbowmen, heavy crossbowmen, what the hell is a heavy crossbowman? hand cannoneers, and bombard cannons. Compiègne will not sit idle and let Philippe the Good take the initiative, however, and will soon launch counterattacks. In the south lie several camps of the French army in yellow, which mainly consists of heavy cavalry. It is not advisable to try to overcome this strong opponent. Instead, Philippe the Good should focus on attacking Joan of Arc. So uh, my guess is in order to get the achievements, we're going to have to defeat yellow. So this is going to be a long one. Buckle up, boys. Let's get this started, shall we? Onwards, men! The town of Choisy lies ahead. Let us conquer this place and turn it into a siege camp before marching on Compiègne.
Okay, we gotta defend our cannons. Nice, that one almost went down. But we should be okay here. Once this assault is finished. There you go. The town is ours. Quickly, establish a base and repair the damages. The French army will not remain idle once they learn of our success. Okay, so our new main objective is to continue, is still just to kill Joan of Arc. Very straightforward, but again, not very straightforward at all either. There's a stone mine here. We're going to keep note of that. So let's get another town center over here. And bring our siege weaponry back inside. Our outpost in Marni has been attacked by French soldiers for days. We should not allow our enemies to wipe out this base. Okay, I didn't know there were teal guys over there. Oh gosh, that's okay. Compayen. They're much closer than I expected. We even lost ourselves a bombard cannon, unfortunately. Seems like we are getting counterattack pretty quickly here. <laughs> Okay, protect the outpost at Marni. That is over here. Okay, so that's interesting. They're on the other side of this outpost here. So I'm going to heal up my guys. I see. That's why we... So we attract... There must, there must have been some idle units over here, and that's why we attracted their attention. Bonjour. Okay, so as we continue developing our eco here, I want to build a castle on the front to protect from the city of Marnie here. It seems like this is like a river outpost that's blocking us. And we, we won't be blocked like forever. That's the hope at least. Bonjour. I wonder if they'll produce any more ships here.
Get a couple war galleys out on the water. That can't possibly hurt. Okay. Now I imagine we won't be allowed to sit here forever. We have to figure out some way to start taking these guys down. Let's pick up a university. We need gold miners too. We don't have any source of gold. So I do want to take control of that gold pile here. Let's keep villagers turning out. And we'll want Custilier to Bonjour Ibati. Didn't mean to do that. Kind of jumped the gun. Hopefully that didn't trigger trigger the hornet's nest, so to speak. Let's get another TC over here. Let's build a mill there. Build a farm. Pick up crop rotation. Grab chemistry. Nope, we don't have the gold. Ha! <laughs> we win. Our faith is incorruptible. Yeah, I would like more stone, though. Now, Joan of Arc is demanding that we deploy even more soldiers to support her desperate campaigns. But we long for peace. Help us rebuild our city, and we will stay out of the battle. Okay. That sounds good. That's a new objective type, too. Never seen that before, staying out of the battle. Okay, cool. So now we're busting this small Thank camp. You for building a new market for us. <laughs> you truly deserve to be known as the good Philippe. Those guys are like moonwalking. That suits me just fine. Let's have these Custile come down here and finish people off. Build a treb. Get two man saw. And we're making great progress here now. Once again, it was a bit of a rough start, but now we are making good time. I 
I mean, even if, like, even if we didn't build this market, could they have really realistically done anything to us? That's the question, right? Let's pick up chemistry and build up a castle at the front here. I would like to find another source of stone if possible. That's not super safe down there. Let's pick up Bracer for our castle. I guess I could send my war galleys down this way. There are people in our city who know the French military plans. Oh! For an adequate price, they are willing to share their knowledge with you. Okay, so that's a thousand gold that we can potentially tribute. I am okay with that. We're getting a good lay of the land here. They must be searching for relics. These monks must be looking for relics. Send reinforcements. The French are besieging our camp. Okay, reinforcements are being sent. And I would prefer to keep Orange alive here if I can. Uh, but I need the gold first for the military plans. A thousand gold. Let's do it. Not to the French army, to Gray. That's Gray, right? Yep. As agreed, our spies will provide you with the French plans. From now on, you can track the activities of your enemies. Oh! So we get spies, huh? That's really good. Okay, so there's relics back here. That's why monks, the monks are so hell-bent on grabbing them. Good. I don't want to lose here, so... I'm going to just start building my own military buildings over in this area. Hey, I don't want to lose this castle. So I'm going to kill these Trebs. So far, it has been well worth it. Eh, they're not even that scary, to be honest. Bon 
Major Ta Compre Iba 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 Ti. Okay, so we can't just ignore this problem. But we're doing okay for ourselves for now. Let's pick up this relic, bring it back home. Pick up plate barding. Spies is actually really helpful because it helps make us, make us realize that the enemy is actually not so intimidating after all. Um, and that'll make this mission much easier than before, to be honest. Oh, heavy crossbowmen must refer to... Genoese crossbowmen. Okay. Okay, we've stabilized significantly now. I think we have all the university techs that we could need. Let's grab architecture. That is a pretty scary set of enemies. Let's get more Custilier out. Ibati. Let's get more gold miners out. I'm gonna delete this market. And build a castle at the front for our friends here. We'll pick up Elite Custilier at some point. Let's grab that relic. Bring it home. We actually have a reasonable avenue of attack, too. Uh, if we could just set up a frontline base over here. So the scary part primarily comes if their forces show up at the same time. That's what we really need to be worried about. And they do run Monk, so I think at some point I will try to get Faith. Yeah, that really sucks. I hate I hate fighting against Monks. Uh, and if they're going to insist on using monks, I might just play with some light cow here. 
We'll upgrade to Husser. Focus down the siege equipment. If we're able to do so, then our castle will be able to clean up just about everything else. Bonjour. Si immediately. Si compra i va. Si. Vos ordas. I mi. Let's save up just a little bit for faith. We're losing tons of units to conversions here, which sucks. Faith and start setting up for an attack on this end. Do we ever pick up guilds? I think we did, right? If we did, then I can sell off some of this wood. Fa si compra i bati. Any stone mines available anywhere? No. Oh, well, these trebs are going down. <laughs> Rip, what a waste of trebs. That's like two, 600 gold down the goddamn drain. There's stone here, though. That's good. Bonjour, Bonjour. Okay, we've got tons of villagers now. Not too much in the way of military, though. Let's start busting down this gate. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. This... this as far as I'm concerned, uh, from all this knowledge of what they're throwing at us, the main way for us to lose at this point is to accidentally kill Joan before we kill the French. Now, unfortunately for us, the French are much stronger than we are in terms of military strength, or in terms of cavalry strength. So, we'll need to try to be decisive here. Dude, AI with AI monks are so annoying. I hate them so much. Hey, I will pull back here for now. And our main offensive is from the east. We just have to hold on the west. Let's get that four. We don't really have to do much besides hold here on the west. We can do some damage. 
like some superficial damage, but we want to get the achievement first. And we are actually at our population cap here. Hello, Joan. Fancy seeing you on the enemy side. <laughs> Feels so weird, man. I'm so used to, like, seeing Joan as, like, the heroine of the story instead of as an antagonist. And unless Lahir is a unit here, I don't think I'm going to see him, unfortunately. I don't see him, like, standing on the map anywhere. So it may be just a reference, sadly. That might be the only thing that it'll ever be. It's also really cool how all the DLC heroes got, like, their own palettes. I don't think I've ever seen those sprites before on the map, which is really nice. It's a good touch. These are just the small things to make uh, levels feel more unique. Right, the French are fighting back. I will give them some credit. They've got trebuchets at least. But they should still get crushed pretty easily here. Did they recover the relic already? Oh, I think they did while I wasn't paying attention, unfortunate. Don't want hustlers. Okay, trebs are down. Let's produce a few more here and start crushing the army. <laughs> I always love it when boats are destroying. <laughs> Or boats are getting destroyed by like land units. It just looks so, especially land melee units. It just looks so comical. Si. 
compro. Bonjour. Sì, i min. Sì. That elite throwing axeman is not having a good day. We are though. Bonjour. Castle will be going down soon. Our paladins are flooding into their base. We can see everything. And yellow honestly does not have too much. Okay, so we should be careful that we don't lose the north here. We still do need to, them to hold while we're destroying the south. So let's not forget about them. The French army can reach Compiègne via this bridge. If we were to destroy it, the French would have to take a detour to help their besieged allies. Five petards, huh? I can make that happen. Yeah, I could definitely make that happen. Um, but the issue is, is that I'm already kind of annihilating the French here, so... It's a bit of a moot point. Let's pick up Burgundian vineyards. We'll be low on food for a while, but it'll be a massive boon to our gold stockpile. Bonjour. <laughs> I didn't realize we were so close to campaign. Let's just get back here. Whichever villages survive, survive. If they don't survive. Eh. The map layout's very beautiful. I do like the addition of these fortresses too, so that it's not just a bunch of castles. It's quite nice. Bonjour. Compre. Immediatement. Where do I want to send these bills? I guess I can send them down here. We can start making a more sizable dent in this area, go for a few production buildings maybe. Oops, my mic just moved again. 
So the, the funny thing about my mic is that normally I use a weight to keep it weighted down, but I don't have that weight available right now. So sometimes it like bobs upwards because it's too strong. The spring's too strong for the, the smallish mic that I've got on it. And the truth of this mission is that we could have finished this long ago if the mission was only about killing Joan of Arc, but because we're going for the achievement, we're taking quite our sweet time here. I'm okay with losing that entire force of paladins. And we've actually defeated the French army. Lovely. I'm just gonna spend these. I'm not even gonna do the secondary objective. I'm just gonna spend the batards on the gate. And we'll smash them in from the back. And this will be similar to the situation where we were killing Bernard. It doesn't actually even matter that we defeat the rest of these guys. I'm just going to go directly for Joan here. We could probably use Castilier, honestly. I think it'd be pretty cool if we did that. But in the end, it doesn't matter too, too much. The Burgundians have reached Joan. Defend the men with your lives. So this should be the same city that's depicted in Paris uh, in the fifth campaign that we reached to, right? Okay, that's one petard hit. They cannot resist us forever. Our stream of paladins are just too strong. These spies ended up being massive for us. Makes the mission much, much, much easier. We'll knock down the cathedral while we're at it, because why not?
Barney honestly didn't do too much for us. They were just uh, a nice side distraction, I guess. So long as we keep them alive, they don't attack our main base. Two different looking cathedrals. This is a real nice looking city. We have tons of resources to burn. We might as well have some fun here. Take our time killing these guys. He's getting completely swarmed now. I guess now we can deal the decisive blow. Let's just get in on there. All right, Joan. Your fun is over. It was nice knowing you. Say goodnight. Joan. GG, easy. Oh no. The Pucella has fallen into the hands of the insidious Burgundians. <laughs> Hello there, Joan. <laughs> it's a nice touch that she's like off her horse. That is a nice touch indeed. Okay, so yep, we just popped both achievements. One for finishing the campaign, which has been awesome. Uh, and the second one, which is shut up here for defeating the French first. Nice. It was late at night when the soldiers brought Joan to Philippe. Calmly, he instructed all of us advisors to leave his tent. As soon as they were alone, La Pucelle began berating the Duke to his face. The Dauphin, she said, was chosen by God to be the savior of France. And he, Duke Philippe, was a traitor to his country. She was a zealot, as I have told you, my son. For her, the world was black and white. The goals of the Burgundian Duke were as incomprehensible to her as her righteous fire was to Philippe. I could see them through a slit in the tent door. The Duke could barely hide his disgust for this peasant girl who talked down to him as if he were a mere commoner. Yet, he retained his composure. When she was finished, he let a long silence fall on the room. At last, he spoke in a low voice. If the Dauphin is indeed your beloved savior, Joan, where was he at Paris? Where is he now? He did not allow her time to answer. The moment that I heard of your capture, I dispatched two emissaries. One to the English, and one to your Dauphin, each with the same proposal. Ten thousand ducats in return for La Pucelle. I am a man of my word, girl. If the Dauphin has not abandoned you and wishes to see you free, I will allow you to return to your holy mission. But if not, at that moment, two English soldiers entered the tent. With a look almost of pity for the young maiden, Philippe nodded. The Englishman grabbed her by the arms. As they dragged her out, 
The Duke sighed and said, Alas, John, this is nothing personal. It is only politics. There she is now. Hmm? Can you see? The English are tying her to the pole. For a short while, this girl was the symbol of French resistance. Now, her death will symbolize the final defeat of the Armagnacs. Watch, my son. Not the girl in the flames, but the men around her. The clerics, the inquisitors, the nobles of England and Burgundy. The men who decide the fate of nations. For them, for us, this is not the burning of a heretic, nor the downfall of a hero. It is, like all things, a means to an end. Nice. I really like the dark grittiness. It juxtaposes really well against kind of the righteousness of the Joan of Arc campaign and her perspective. Um, I really think that's super cool. This set of campaign levels was incredibly fun to play. Um, it's a two sword mission, uh, which is, that's to be true. Uh, and it's not very difficult. I think the second one was probably the most difficult one for me. Uh, at least the initial part, because there's just so much stuff going on. And that's something that I like about these missions. There's a lot of new concepts getting tossed around here, and there's constantly stuff to do. There's lots and lots of secondary objectives. Um, some of them are optional, some of them, you know, are not so optional. Uh, for example, if we weren't going the, op uh, the direction of defeating the French army, I'm sure bringing the petards to the bridge would have been pretty useful. And it would have been cool to, like, sneak through. We're, like, cutting them off. Uh, from from the army, right? Obviously, we went the route of defeating the army for the achievement. Um, but, you know, stuff like that just makes it seem, like, fresh and new. And th these campaigns have all felt uh, pretty new. Except for, um... There is one. The, the initial Jacqueline one, Mission 4. That one felt a little bit more standard. It was really, really, really easy. Um, a standard, like, 3 or 4v2 where you had a couple of allies that were not so useful um that kind of held the enemy at bay until you could run them over but you know it's good to have one of those missions in between every once in a while as well um story wise and voice acting wise this campaign has been amazing super 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 good uh, the voice acting has definitely it's retained the professional upgrade from the original de uh, campaigns but it also has a lot of that like emotional delivery that really just hits super, super well. Um, and the combination of the two, it's like the best of both worlds in terms of voice acting from the old the old HD version and the new version as well. It's just, it's, it's, it's really good. I had a blast with this one. Um, truthfully, I probably would have paid 10 bucks for this campaign alone. Uh, forget the new Civ. I guess this one includes the new Civ, right? So if it was one new Civ and one new campaign, I would have paid 10 bucks. But we still have a, an entire other Civ to look at, and we have an entire uh, two other campaigns to look at. So I'm super excited. All right, lovely. That was The Maid Falls, completed on hard difficulty with an achievement. We are now officially done with the Grand Duke's campaigns. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you guys for watching. My name is The Clever Fool. I will see you all next time.